In this session, we're going to talk about pulleys, crank pulleys, and ATI damper. This ATI damper is specifically for the S54. Now, we often get asked a question, why are we having alignment issues? So, with the factory damper being thinner than the ATI damper, ATI wasn't able to build a damper to work effectively if they were to maintain the original width or thickness of the damper. So they had to make it a little bit thicker. For those that don't know ATI, there's an inertia ring inside here. So then you have the inner and then the outer hub. And there's this inertia ring has O-rings on the OD, on the ID, and on the face. And that friction is what allows it to do its dampening. So where does this belt alignment issue come in? If you were to use your factory pulley with the ATI damper, you would actually be sticking out too far. If you look in here, you will see that this back clip will cause a misalignment. What we have done is we have an ATI version. We call it the S54 ATI damper pulley. This goes on to here and now when you look close you will see that the back side of the pulley is almost flush with the damper. So the damper actually becomes your guide. I'm going to put these pulleys side by side and then you're going to see the difference. And that's basically where the issue is. If I can show you the back. You can see the back. It's machined with the step and that back lip is removed. This is factory would be smooth with a, a back lip that guides the belt. On the ATI version, it's got a counter bore to sit on here and then no lip to guide because the damper actually guides. So this is what you really want to do. Make sure that you have the right pulley with the damper and you'll never have an alignment issue. Any questions, be sure to ask. We're always here for you. Be sure to hit that like button and follow VAC.